Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, affectionately known as the Pontiff, AC3 fuckers, AC3. And today I'd like to review for you a uh, Patek Philippe World Time 5110G. This is a white gold, white gold world time. And uh, I've, I've had a few in recent times there. Uh, some of my competitors have decided to review a, uh, a Patek 3919. Well, fuckers, I owned a 3919 Calatrava nearly 16 years ago. That was my first Patek. And uh, I can tell you what, fuckers, uh, some of these fuckers here seem to think the sun shines out of their ass. Well, fuckers, I'm Archie Luxury. And uh, I'd like to show you a Patek World Time. 5110. <clears throat> Probably one of the uh, the greatest Pateks of all time. I mean, you, you think about the great Patek wristwatches that are out there. Think about them, fuckers, and uh, I tell you what, you want something that is uh, complicated. The world time is just ingenious, absolute ingenious system. And uh, it's got a very clear dial, 24 different time zones. And uh, this here, the 5110 has the Gillesche dial. The replacement model, the 5130, does not have this. They both share the same Patek 240 movement, which uses the micro rotor. This same movement is uh, used in perpetual calendars. That's correct. Perpetual calendars. When I use that term, perpetual calendars, fuckers, I'm not talking about automatics. I'm talking about perpetual calendar watches that actually... Um, they actually know day, year, day, year, month. That's right, fuckers. Day, month, date, and year because they know about the leap years. So uh, I got to tell you, fuckers, I want to show you people today a serious paddock, serious paddock. The Patek Philippe, Patek Philippe, fuckers, 5110. This is in white gold, and uh, I love the way the 5110 packs a lot of punch. It's got a uh, deployant buckle with the Calatrava logo in the clasp, fuckers. This is a very, very sophisticated piece. And uh, I, I've got to tell you, fuckers, i got to tell you, it's, uh, this is one of my grail pi I'd say this would probably, uh, I think you could very comfortably, if you owned a world time, very comfortably enjoy it, relax for the rest of your days. What more could you really, what more would you really want? A Patek world time. A Patek World Time, fuckers. And uh, it's, it's, I tell you what, this is such an ingenious system. It came out in the 40s originally. And uh, early 2000s, Patek relaunched the World Time with the Crown Guard Protectors. This is when the 5107 came out. That's uh, that elegant case. This is quintessential Patek Philippe. This is rich fucker Patek Philippe territory. Really rich fucker. Rich fucker Patek territory. And uh, I'm very, very privileged to be able to bring this to the audience. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, AC3 fuckers. Tell me what you think of... The Patek Philippe World Time 5110G, fuckers. <coughs> Great review, Archie. Love the program. Love the channel, fuckers. This was Jesus' own I've lent, fuckers. 
We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.